Hello, beautiful fam, and welcome to the ballroom. I'm your girl, Blackbird. Uh, you can call me BB. That's what all my closest friends call me. And I am really excited to see you all today. I have another lady of the house for us. So, Legendary Ladies, it's a book full of goddesses, as you can see. And um, two videos ago, I talked about Itzel, and she is the current lady of the house. And I wanted to quickly read you a little bit about her. As you can see, it's not too long. But just so you can get a little taste of what she looks like. Itzel um, is a Mayan goddess, beautiful moon goddess of crea creativity. Itzel also oversees water, fertility, and fate. Once upon a time, she fell in love with the sun and they became lovers. Their affair caused great chaos on earth. The waves became wild and flooded the land. Itzel's angry grandfather struck her with a lightning bolt, killing her. She fell to earth where dragonflies mourned over her body for 13 days before she came back to life. Returning to the sun, she discovered that he was a jealous lover, constantly accusing her of being in love with others such as his brother, the Morning Star. Itzel left the sun and created a new life as an independent goddess, protecting women and fertility, especially those on her sacred island of Cozumel. Often portrayed in three aspects of the feminine divine, maiden, mother, and crone. Crone is old woman. Um, Itzel is the mother of reinvention and removing obstacles call on it itself when you want to clear your path and find another way okay so let's clear our path and find another way wow um i have a candle lit for her I know it might seem silly, but I feel like they really like that when you light a candle to them. So you might be thinking, what obstacles do you have, baby? Oh yeah, the Mars music video. <laughs> oh yeah, that. I've heard you talk about that before. <laughs> so... I was on YouTube watching some other videos a couple nights ago, and there was this one gentleman, I think his name's like Strumbella or something. Anyways, I'll, I'll link the video in the description so you'll know. But the main point of what I was trying to say is he had a video where he asked seven questions that changed his life. And the one that really like popped out to me the most and spoke to me was, if this were easy, what would it look like? <sighs> so obviously I've been making Mars pretty difficult. So if we flip the coin over and it was as easy as it could possibly be, what would it look like? So basically what I did was set up my phone just like this and I played music on my laptop and I just danced. I just danced it out. And I had so much fun that I, like for the past two days, I've just been recording myself dance on my phone. <laughs> and I'm like, why am I doing this? This seems kind of odd, but like, I have found a new passion. And 
like I'm so excited to share it with you and I've been trying relentlessly to post some of these videos but for whatever reason technology is shutting the door and it is saying it is not possible for me to do that right now so um admittedly I have been pretty frustrated I almost feel like I have like a handicap when it comes to technology <laughs> but I'm trying to work away from that emotion and be like okay this is a sign from the universe it does not want me posting these videos right now um so how about you just like focus your attention somewhere else and when the time is right then you can use this new talent and share it with the world. So, um, yeah, just like redirecting how I'm thinking and try not to think of this as this whole process as an obstacle. Like this is supposed to be fun. Like I'm supposed to be growing and learning from this experience. <laughs> Um, and I, I really want to keep that fun. So you guys will see me dance sometime, but it's not yet. <laughs> uh, what else is going on? I am going to see my life coach, Gina Johnson today. I'm really looking forward to that. And, uh, school. That's been my other main focus. Uh, I kind of want to touch on school a little bit with you guys. And that is because it's more than just an anatomy class to me. This is the key to my dreams. This one class will unlock like the door for me to become a massage therapist. And once I become a massage therapist, then I can open my healing center, happy healing. And I really truly feel like this is more than just an idea that I have. Happy healing is a gift that has been given to me to give to you. The whole rest of the world can benefit from this. Um, like I said, it's really hard for me to articulate because it's such a complex, huge thing in my mind. Like I said, like this is This is something that I've given up a lot for. Because I believe that in order for me to reach my highest potential, I have to open this healing center. Um, I think that in order to reach my highest potential, I'm going to have to give up smoking weed. Uh, I don't necessarily want to, but I'm feeling called to that. Um, I used to smoke weed all day, every day. And um, I was really unhappy. I'm not saying it was weed's fault in any way. It was just the situation I was in. And... Um, now I'm smoking weed just at night before I go to bed. Actually, it's just any time after dinner. <laughs> um, and it's not helping me. It's not helping me progress as a human, as a friend. It's, it helps me calm down and feel relaxed, but Sometimes I have to feel that pressure 
and school is a huge pressure for me. It's not, it does not come naturally. It's a lot of work. Um, I'm dyslexic and I have ADHD, so it's kind of a struggle, honestly. But that doesn't mean that I can't do well. Like, uh, when I, I finished all of my massage courses, this is my last course in just an anatomy class, I actually was on the honor roll. <laughs> I got all A's and I was literally shocked because when I was an undergrad at U of I, I was about as far from the honor roll as you could possibly be with still graduating. <laughs> And that's because my attention was on friends and partying and my social life. And just moving so the sun isn't so much on me. And my social life and, and now I, I've got something really big to live for. So, yes. Weed is not too much to give up for this. I can do it. I'm gonna go to my first support group tonight. Um, I've been a part of AA and NA before in the past and it's really helped me. It's helped me so much. I actually still have friends still to this day that I'm very close with and yeah, I don't identify as an alcoholic anymore, um, which is, I don't know, might be weird. Um, I really have a hard time feeling like I fit in a lot of places. Even in places that are so inclusive, like um, AA or NA, I still almost feel like I don't fit in. Uh, yeah. I don't wanna get too deep because I do have places that I do fit in and I don't need to get morose about like past traumas, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Anyways. I love you. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Tag out.